story, Leo Papp leads a gang of robbers in a $7 billion heist to exact revenge on an old accomplice who betrays him 24 years before the crime. Will they be successful, or will their internal animosity get the best of them? Heist thrillers have the advantage that even the most mediocre ones will pack a punch because the on-screen crime requires skilled writing to succeed. This and other genre media have slick action sequences and a cast of incorrigible characters whose antics and interpersonal dynamics are entertaining to watch. These tropes benefit the newest limited series. Otherwise, there isn't much to keep one interested in the show. The unconventional order of the episodes is the show's most distinguishing feature. The first minute of Kaleidoscope introduces the audience to the theme colors and the peculiar chronology. The incidents in each episode occur five days, six weeks, seven years, etc. before the primary crime, and we are informed at the opening that there will be a heist. Though one might have to pay close attention to avoid scratching their heads, author Eric Garcia, Matchstick Men, Repo makes sure that everything fits together well. The episodes are color-coded, with violet being the episode 24 years prior to the robbery, green representing the episode 7 years prior, white representing D-Day, red representing the episode the day following, and so on. However, everything appears gimmicky due to the formulaic premise, approach, and characterization. The characters, including protagonist Leo Papp played by Giancarlo Esposito, Hotshot Lawyer Weapon Specialist Ava Paz Vega Explosive Specialist Judy, Rosalind Elbate Safecracker Bob Jai Courtney Smuggler Stan Peter Mark Kendall and Nerdy Driver RJ are also on the verge of being caricatures Jordan Mendoza. High-flying corporate security tycoon Roger Salas Rufus Sewell, together with Hannah Kim, his senior VP of Digital Security, are working against them Tati Gabrielle. The most engaging characters are Peter Mark Kendall and Jai Courtney, particularly Courtney's portrayal of an aggressive and irritable thief. Another intriguing character is FBI agent Nazan Abasi, Nirsa Noor, a former drug user caught up in a custody dispute over her son. The heist planning is fascinating, and the execution is thrilling. However, Leo and Stan's price and breach scenes are insignificant and unnecessary. Stan adds mushrooms to the inmate's oatmeal, and Leo makes a copy of the keys by imprinting its make with soap, among other ridiculous things. The series frequently discusses racial prejudice, whether it be through Leo's portrayal of a black guy, Ava's Argentinian heritage and allusion to the dirty war, Abasi joining the FBI to distinguish herself from the 9-11 extreme terrorists, or even Ava's reference to the dirty war. When he goes to visit his wife at the posh club where she works, a woman takes up and holds her bags as he sits next to her in a scenario that serves to demonstrate his motivation for carrying out the theft. Kaleidoscope is not the ideal heist series. It loses steam at times and is only interesting in parts. However, the high-octane action and heist make it worthwhile to watch.